The topic is drugs for weight loss. Hello, I'm Dr. John. This is the second of a four part series on weight control. Many of the weight loss drugs are variants of medications to treat other illnesses such as convulsions, addiction, or depression, but were found to lower appetite. Some are modifications of drugs used to lower blood sugar in type 2 diabetics. Ordinarily, the intestine releases a hormone in response to glucose in the food. This hormone stimulates the pancreas to release insulin and also suppresses the sensation of hunger. This hormone is usually degraded within minutes. However, researchers have found a way to prolong its duration of action and then it is used to control appetite and food intake. Some, can, some of the drugs used in weight control can be addictive and cause dangerously high blood pressure if taken for a long period of time. The type 2 diabetic medications modified are found to cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and constipation in a significant number of people. Of course, if your stomach is upset, you are going to eat less. Prolonged suppression of hunger by weight loss medications may interfere with intake of needed nutrients on a timely fashion. And continued release of insulin could lead to promotion of cancer cell growth. In most cases, drug-induced weight loss slows down after one year. And when people stop taking the medication, they seem to regain the weight. Nobody knows how to prolong the action of these medications. So, see whether you can reduce the food intake in general without having to use medications so that you can continue it for long period of time. For more information, log on to my website, drjohnonhealth.com.